Hey there, everybody. Thomas with Basecamp Trading. It is Tuesday, July 23rd, and we're going to take a look at the Euro and discuss a setup we've been watching here. Uh, our members have been watching in day videos for the past few days. That's something we've been talking about for a while. And that was a short setup in the Euro that triggered last night and has just played out beautifully today. So with that being said, before I go any further, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. That way, you can get new videos whenever we put them out every day, helping you with different trade setups, different ideas, different strategies, and different things that can help your overall trading career. So with that being said, this is this was the uh, uh, spreadsheet from last night for the futures in a day video. And this is what I want you to notice right here is Euro. We had pending breakout on 1.1255 support. So what happened here and why was this a good support break? Because everybody hears that statistic that 90% or 70% of breakouts fail and, and end up making people lose money. Well, the reason this was a well-defined support and good for a breakout trade is because of the number of times we had tested it. Okay, we had come down and hit it back here. Uh, way back in um, June, we hit it again earlier this month and then hit it again a few days ago last week. Uh, now we broke through it finally today. Now the lead up to this breakout was also really good. We had an open right at the high and then a run straight down, set up a bear flag on the dailies and broke and triggered that uh, by breaking that support yesterday. Now, if you look at your 240 minute price chart, you can also see just how many times the support had been tested. Okay, market was respecting that support level. So we knew that the market was paying attention to it. With that being said, uh, we also had good momentum. So we had what we call a one green finger leading into this. And the one green finger is just when our histograms go from red to green and right back to red. All that's telling us with the MQ momentum is that, hey, it was the buyer's turn to come in and push prices higher and they failed. They couldn't get any, make any progress. It, it went straight back to the bears. So it tells us there's a, an unwillingness to rally there. Overall trades played out beautifully. You've hit your first target already. For those of you that took the short, uh, I know we were selling it in the London trading room last night. For those of you that were in the London session with Gary, I know he was short and holding it all morning, closed at about 11, 11 15 this morning. But overall, great job. Keep an eye out for well defined support and resistance levels. Remember, the more times the support resistance level has been tested, the higher the probability of when we actually break, having it break out and follow through. So great job, everybody, on the Euro. That's it for today, though. I will see you in the next one. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.